to the Order of the Phoenix. It's so nice to see you again, dear. Please make yourself at home. Oh, and I've also invited your friend Susan. She should be here any moment. That must be her now. Susan Bones? <laughs> get out of my way, everyone! I've got to get the door for my love! Susan! Oh, I've missed you! Have you been missing me? Mm. Oh, Severus! You look ever so handsome today! Who the hell are you? Harry, what happened to you? Are you alright? I was attacked by Dementors and now they want to expel me from Hogwarts, all because I used magic in front of my cousin. I have to attend a hearing and everything. Look at the letter they sent. Oh, may I see that? Oh, what luck! Susan's Auntie Amelia will be overseeing the case. Susan simply adores her Auntie Amelia. Isn't that right, dear? Eh. Oh, Dumbledore. I, I see you received our message about the time and place of the hearing. I have no idea what you're talking about, but since I am here, I would like to let you all know that Harry is, in fact, completely innocent. I don't suppose you have any proof? Why, yes, actually, I am. Well, I'm afraid we're all out of time here. Are we all in agreement that Harry Potter is guilty? Mm. Uh, very well, then I uh, suppose you're free to go then. Oh, Ginny, I really like your new haircut. You should treat him like a slave. Could you three help me clean this place up? Just throw away all this old junk. I don't want anything to do with it. Susan, look at this locket! It looks like it belonged to Salazar Slytherin! It seems pretty important. Do you think we should keep it? Mm. Oh, Susan! Your new letter from Hogwarts has arrived! Would you like me to read it to you? Mm. It says here that you are the only student who never does anything wrong. Therefore, you have been named a prefect. Oh, Susan, I'm so proud of you. You must be so excited. Eh. So I said, serious, you can't treat creature like that. And he said, well, I can treat creature however I want. I said, well, no, you can't. He's a human almost. He said, no, he's an elf. And I didn't care for that at all. I said, elves need to have rights. And he said, elf rights. And I said, elf rights. Good God, what is that? What is what? Don't interrupt, Harry. It's quite rude, you know. That thing pulling the carriage? Oh, those are Thestrals. Don't worry. I can see them, too. You're just as sane as I am. Can you see them, too, Susan? I've heard a lot of talk about a curse, but I don't believe any of that. But anyway, since Dumbledore was not able to find a suitable replacement for the Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher, the minister himself, Cornelius Fudge, he appointed me to be your new Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher. And I'm sure that we will all be very good friends. Mm. Once away, everyone, we will not be doing any magic in my classroom. This will be a safe learning environment. I will be teaching you a ministry-approved course schedule, which will consist entirely of book learning only. Susan, honey, I love what you're doing. You're doing great. Everyone here, you can learn to be a lot more like Susan here. 
Ten points for Hufflepuff. Mm. Won't we need magic to defend ourselves against Voldemort? You know, that's just me ridiculous. Why would the Dark Lord attack a child such as yourself? He killed Cedric! Harry Potter, you must not tell lies in my classroom. Cedric Diggory's death was a tragic accident. Detention, Mr. Porter. Why doesn't anyone believe me? Oh, Harry, if only there was somebody else that had been there to witness it. No, there wasn't anyone but Cedric, and he's dead. Susan, you were there that night with Harry. Tell me everything that happened. Eh. Susan, I read your interview in the Quibbler. I can't believe how much you had to say. Everyone is starting to believe Harry now, too. Eh. Oh no! It says here in the Daily Prophet that Umbridge has been named High Inquisitor! Isn't that terrible, Susan? I've gathered you all here because if Umbridge won't teach us to defend ourselves, we'll have to teach ourselves. Any questions? Eh. That's an excellent question, Susan, and yes, I can perform a Protronus charm and have been able to since third year. Thank you. Oh no! What's wrong, Harry? Ron, your dad's just been attacked! Oh, there you are, Susan. Ron's dad has been attacked. Eh. Why do I keep having these dreams, Professor? What should I do about them? Don't worry, Harry. I know just what to do about this. Severus, would you kindly teach Harry Occlumency? Alright, Potter, are you ready? Well, actually, I just have one question. Radius Mindus! Curseus Radius Mindus! Susan Bones! You old fraud? Did you see that coming? <laughs> ah, good afternoon, Susan. I see that you've already helped yourself to a seat. I'm sure you're wondering why you're meeting with me and not your head of house, Professor Sprout. Yeah. Oh, straight to the point. I like that. All right. Well, I have a copy of your grades here. It seems that you have been excelling in potions. You've been left a glowing review by Professor Snape. Um, allow me to read an excerpt of that for you. <clears throat> Susan Bones is an exemplary potion student, the most radiant and effervescent pupil who has ever graced the potions department since the great Lily Evans walked the halls of this fine institution many years ago. In class, Susan is a real firecracker. Her quick wit and can-do attitude has set her miles ahead of the other students. It has been both an honor and a privilege, dare I say even a blessing, to have mentored such a talented and alluring young lady. Susan is much more than a potion student to me. 
for she has charmed my heart. My relationship with Susan has grown above and beyond that of a student and teacher into more of a courtship, if you will. Susan, you are the light of my life, my sun and moon, the reason I wake up every morning. You are my everything. If loving you is wrong, then cart me away to Azkaban. Because like a Dementor, you've kissed my soul, love severus. <clears throat> yes, well, that was rather illuminating, to say the least. Uh, let's just move on to your career aptitude results. <clears throat> it says here that you answered eh to every single question. Eh. And your results are that you would be most suited for a career at the Department of Magical Vehicles, otherwise known as the DMV for short. Oh my god! Susan Bolts working for the Ministry of Magic? Oh, I love that idea! Your office could be right next door to mine! In fact, I knew from the first day that I laid eyes on you that you had government employee written all over your face. You've been such an exemplary student that I think you should consider joining my inquisitorial squad. What do you say to that, Susan? Eh. Alright, Susan, repeat after me. Expecto Patronum! Mm. Susan, your Patronus is a snail? I've caught you now, Potter. Wait until Professor Umbridge hears about this. Oh no! Everybody run! Susan, you need to run! Umbridge is coming! Eh! Well, 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 what's going on here? An unauthorized student meeting, I see! Oh, Susan, honey, I expected much greater things from you. I'm very disappointed. Eh! Professor Dumbledore, please explain to Cornelius here why my inquisitorial squad just discovered a covert gathering of students practicing unauthorized smells and calling themselves Dumbledore's army. What do you have to say to yourself? Um, don't worry, I can explain everything. with serious Black? Now you tell me right now what you three have been up to. We can't tell you, but we can show you. I demand that you tell me where you are taking me right now. It's just a little bit further, Professor. Hello, sir. My name is Dolores Umbridge, Senior Undersecretary to the Minister and Headmistress of Hogwarts School which went the Wizardry. Can you understand me? As a half-breed of near-human intelligence, I demand that you let us pass. Oh dear, Susan, honey, tell me I mean no harm. I'm glad to see that you guys escaped the Inquisitorial Squad. We need to get to the Ministry to save Sirius. Well, we could take the Thestrals, of course. Sirius isn't here! <laughs> Give me that prophecy, boy! 
Never! Susan, catch! Stand back, Harry. The Order's got this. <laughs> uh, no, serious? Oh, I do love a good tragedy. <laughs> Lucius, my boy, toss me that prophecy. Ooh, um, about that. <laughs> Not so fast, young Tom. You are in need of a good stern talking to. This has gone on long enough. Why, I remember back when you were just a young pupil at Hogwarts. I don't have time for this. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Susan. This has all got me thinking. Life is short. Our time together may not be long and well. Kiss me now, Susan. I can't wait any longer. Can you do this somewhere else?